Julia Bradbury has been documenting her cancer journey on social media, after being diagnosed with breast cancer last month. The television presenter, who is best known for fronting long-running BBC show Country File, was advised to take the time to thank her body for all that it had provided her over the years before saying goodbye to her left breast, which is to be removed during surgery. In order to celebrate her body, the mum of three stripped off and took a selfie to mark the occasion. The 51-year-old television presenter sported a pair of colorful leggings in the snap and covered her modesty with her phone and her hand. Her toned torso was on display as she posed for the picture. I'm going for my last walk in this body. I'm going for my last walk with these boobs, she said alongside the snap. In view of her 123,000 Instagram followers, Julia continued, One of the best bits of advice I've received in the weeks of my breast cancer diagnosis, thank you. Is to say goodbye to my breast and to thank my body for all the sustenance, joy and life it has given me. Goodbye left boob. I've breastfed my children with you, I've jumped into the sea with you, I've walked thousands of miles with you. And you've given me, and some others, pleasure along the way. Now it's time to make way for something new. The TV personality, who shares three children, Zephyr, 10, and twin Xanthi and Xena, 6, with her husband Gerard Cunningham, went on to thank her supporters for their messages. Thank you all for your love and support. See you on the other side. Check yourselves. And take care of your bodies. Hashtag Breast Cancer Awareness. Julia X, she encouraged others as she signed off. Sending you so much love, wrote fellow TV star Jenny Falconer in the comments section of the post. Julia thank you for all the positivity you bring to this platform, I hope you are feeling all of the positivity that is being given back to you from everyone. Thinking of you, Sky Sports presenter Sarah Jane Me added. Dotalyash Skorjanek left sweating over strictly rule break concerns, inside Piers Morgan takes swipe at Brooklyn Beckham for worst TV appearance, update, just one day ago, Julia shared a very candid update online, revealing that she was feeling down following her diagnosis. She opened up while in self-isolation awaiting her surgery, which did not help her emotional state. Not being able to hug her children made matters worse. However, wanting to offer pragmatic advice to those in a similar situation, Julia shared the details of several charities who offer help and support. Alongside a picture in which she looked earful, the nature-loving star said, I want to share this photo, because it doesn't matter how much support you have, how much love, or even if you have a clear path of treatment for your breast cancer. Sometimes you just feel overwhelming sad. There are 100 million folks around the world with cancer. I cry when I read a kind message sometimes, or if I think about the reality of my mastectomy, or this morning, when I couldn't hug my children before school, because I'm self-isolating. And that's okay. We're allowed to be sad, and there are some amazing support groups and charities there to help us. Check yourself, look after your body, be aware. And have a cry if you need to. Hashtag Breast Cancer Awareness Hashtag October Hashtag Cancer Hashtag Support at Breast Cancer Now at Pink Ribbon Foundation at Prevent Breast Cancer at Maria Curie Uke at Macmillan Cancer